everyone, welcome to our AI Builder series where we interview innovators building AI power applications on Snowflake. Today, I am joined by Harry, co-founder and CEO of ModelBid. Harry, welcome to the show. Thank you, it's great to be here, Julian. Yeah, and so to kick things off, we'd love for you to do a quick intro on yourself and then tell me a little bit about the challenges that ModelBid is solving for customers out there who are using machine learning as part of their day-to-day -day operations and applications. Absolutely, so I'm Harry. I'm the co-founder and CEO of ModelBit. ModelBit is an ML ops platform for Snowflake-based uh, machine learning workloads. And uh, I've been a startup founder for almost 15 years now. Started and sold my first company, Periscope Data, and then recently my co-founder and I founded ModelBit because the needs of machine learning teams in this modern era are growing ever faster, and teams need more and more scalable infrastructure to serve and deploy their machine learning models. Yeah, so I think let's touch a little bit more on that. What are some of those trends that you're seeing in terms of needs for machine learning, and how is that uh, shaping how ModelBit is being developed and deployed across all of these customers? Absolutely, thank you for asking. So we see, especially just in the last couple of years, the acceleration in research of new models and new model types is wild. It's been growing and growing and growing, and we see new models being launched in places like Hugging Face and Facebook Research and research labs around the country that take ever more advantage of modern technology to do ever more powerful machine learning. But we also see that the flip side of that is companies where machine learning is core to their business struggle to keep up with all of the new technology. When machine learning is core to your business, it's critical to be always experimenting with the newest technologies and keeping and growing your edge over your competitors. But the newest models are bigger and bigger. They require ever larger compute infrastructure, ever larger GPUs, and also ever more specific compute infrastructure. So when you're running multiple models in production, you might have one model that has one particular need and another model that has completely different needs. Now, if you imagine scaling up to hundreds or thousands of models in production, the management of all of that and the compute needs of all of that has become a challenge for our customers, and that's the challenge that ModelBit solves that's been very exciting for us. Yeah, yeah. so tell me more about the types of customers that are running into these challenges, and uh, what are some of the things that they're facing that you're helping them with, maybe like specific use cases, if, if that's a way to refer to that. Yeah, of course, a number of our customers are financial companies and financial services, financial technology companies, and so they will use the latest and greatest in machine learning in order to determine exactly how much to underwrite a customer for and whether to underwrite a customer. Maybe a customer signs up for your platform and you have to decide right away, should I loan this customer and how much should I loan this customer? And then you may be doing many billions of transactions every day and you need to decide instantly, is this transaction fraudulent? And these machine learning models that can determine whether or not a transaction is fraudulent, whether or not a customer is credit worthy, are your edge, your financial edge, over your competition and your profit margin. So it's very important to be always keeping up with the latest in machine learning models. We also have a number of computer vision companies. They may do things like security or object detection or things of that nature. And they also need to look at the latest and greatest in machine learning models to be able to reduce the error rate and provide a better user experience for their enterprise customers. And in both of those cases, we see uh, whole teams of researchers at these companies whose job is to experiment with these latest machine learning models and get them into production so that they can provide their customers that edge. But we also see teams of uh, platform software engineers whose job is to manage these scalably, make sure they don't go down, make sure they perform at a high level. And there can sometimes be tension and friction between those teams because again, the machine learning technology is accelerating and the compute demands of these models is accelerating. And so that's where sometimes we can help them out by providing a software platform that meets all of those needs. Yeah, so I think you talked about a few trends, growing size of models, also the maturity of the teams working on this means we've kind of specialized the development versus the production. How does that come into place in how you've developed ModelBid to solve for those challenges? You know, the, the machine learning researchers who are in charge of making sure the company is always leveraging the latest and greatest in machine learning technology, they'll tend to work in Python notebook type of technologies, you know, Jupyter notebooks, CoLab notebooks, Hex notebooks, and they like them because they're very visual and they're very experimentation based, so it's easy to experiment uh, very rapidly. But then that will cause some friction with a platform team who will tend to work in more CICD, classic software engineering, DevOps type of workflows, and will expect a sort of a consistency and a scalability in the kind of code that gets makes it to production. And so ModelBit can provide 
a Python-based API for the machine learning researchers, as well as a Git-based infrastructure that can run all of the DevOps and all of the CI CD that the platform team expects. And the platform team can audit and manage everything that goes into production and everything that is in production. And then finally, Snowflake will provide the raw compute underlying it so that if you want to do a batch of let's rescore every customer, let's say, and, and update their credit worthiness. That may be hundreds of millions of customers that will run on Snowflake's infrastructure and that will provide the latest and scalable compute and also heterogeneous compute, right? Because one model, again, may need one type of GPU and another model may need another type of GPU and we can provide that based on a Snowflake infrastructure. Now, I really like how you're kind of bridging those two specialized roles. Uh, we'd love to see how this actually works in the product. So if you could show me a demo of how this all works together to bring those two teams together, that'd be great. I would love to. So I'm going to start here. You remember there's the machine learning research team, and they're the ones who are using all the latest and greatest models to ensure that their company maintains and improves its competitive edge and its competitive position. And so they will work in notebook-based Python environments. This here is a CoLab notebook, and it's got a GPU hooked up to it. And you can see just the example kind of notebook that a machine learning researcher would work with. So we're installing packages and setting up our particular Python environment. Remember, every Python environment for every model will be unique. There will be a bunch of model preparation that happens. We are using here an image recognition model called Segment Anything. This is a really common model that a lot of our customers use. And it comes with a bunch of Python code that they will need in order to perform an inference. So this is a relatively typical type of Python situation that we see here. This particular code is a bunch of image manipulation code. And then we will see to get an inference itself, we set up the model, and then we have a function that gets an inference. This particular function finds cats in an image, and so this can be fun. We'll just run this live and show you what a researcher would see in their particular research environment here in this CoLab notebook. This will take just a minute. And you can see here we gave it coordinates and the model successfully found the cat in the image and it returned the bounding box coordinates from the function. So at this point, your machine learning researcher may be feeling like this is a success and it's ready to move this model into production. Of course, production is the domain of those platform software engineers. So we'll show you how that handoff works. They will use a particular modelbit.deploy API call. So this is modelbit now and they're calling modelbit.deploy to deploy the model into production. And so we'll show you how all that works. So now that the model has been deployed, we can click view in model bit and we can see it deploy into a variety of containers, including most importantly right now, a Snowflake container. And so you can see here, we have captured for the platform engineer who needs to audit this and approve its deployment to production, the actual source code in a .py file that will go into production. We also have here the model itself. In this particular case, it's a three gigabyte SAM predictor model that will go into the container. We also have the specifics of the Python environment that are required in order to run this model. And so we can see it comes with a particular set of Python requirements, as well as a specific Python version, and it needs to be deployed into a T4 GPU. We have all of this information ready to go when Modelbit automatically deploys it into Snowflake. So now when we go to Snowflake, we can see that you have the ability to run a SQL function in order to perform an inference. And so this is now going to run in Snowpark Python UDF or in Snowpark Container Services, depending on the particular compute needs of the model, so that you can perform high volumes of scalable inference directly in Snowflake. And so this has been particularly popular with our financial services customers and with our computer vision customers who need to do high volumes of scalable inference directly in Snowflake warehouses. So you can see here, we have the bounding box of the particular cat returned directly in your Snowflake warehouse. And this compute was performed in Snowflake. So using your Snowflake compute, staying in your secure Snowflake data cloud, and burning your Snowflake credits, not additional on-demand compute dollars. And finally, for the platform engineer, here in your GitHub, you can see everything that was committed to your GitHub so that it can run in your CI CD pipeline. We have the predictor pickle itself, we have the metadata describing the Python environment. We have the Python requirements TXT. And we have the actual source code that's used to perform an inference. All here, you can use this for your code review processes, your version control, and your CI CD. The last thing I will show off is the logging itself. So when you go back to Modelbit, you can click logs here. 
and you can see the logs of the inferences that were performed, and you can even see visually the particular cat that was identified by our cat finder model. So Modelbit, we hope, provides this bridge between the machine learning researchers who are doing cutting edge research and the platform engineers who need to maintain a consistent, scalable environment to run everything in production. That was really cool to see, and it was really cool to see how it picks up the cat in the picture. Thank you. Now, the question is, right, there's a lot of integrations that already bring in that and leveraging the Snowflake compute to do a lot of the heavy processing. Right. What does the journey look like in terms of model bid and Snowflake integrations in the future to make that experience even more seamless for customers? Awesome. Well, it's a great question because the very next thing we're working on is a Snowflake native application that will allow our customers to purchase model bit directly within their Snowflake console, which has been a big request from our customers. I think being transparent, they sometimes have prepaid for a lot of Snowflake credits and they want to burn down those credits. So they have asked us to make sure that we're in the Snowflake marketplace. And then also it helps smooth the, the path for the Snowflake sellers. There's a number of Snowflake sellers and it's easy for them to sell stuff in the Snowflake marketplace. So that's been really exciting for us. The other thing that's really exciting about the partnership is the continued innovation in Snowpark. The container services, the new hardware, the Snowpark optimized warehouse, different GPUs coming all the time. Our customers ask us for that, and so to have an infrastructure partner that provides it is really exciting for us. Yeah, no, I really like sort of how we're helping you both with the compute uh, over time as that's evolving. Getting GPUs is not the easiest thing to do nowadays. <laughs> no, it's not. And then also being able to support you on your go to market. And I do like sort of like how you can use the Snowflake Salesforce to be your seller because what they care about is also helping customers use those credits that they've pre purchased. With that in mind, how can people learn more about Modelbit? How can people get excited about the stuff you're doing? And find their own cats uh, as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, to find cats with Modelbit or to deploy any custom machine learning model and manage it at scale, modelbit.com, M-O-D-E-L-B-I-T.com. Awesome. Yeah, no, that sounds perfect. Harry, thanks for joining me on the show today. Thanks for having me, Julian. I appreciate it. And of course, thanks to everyone that watched this episode. If you want to see more AI builders show us cool apps that they're building in the Snowflake Data Cloud, make sure to subscribe and look out for more episodes.